50 or more years ago, David Ogilvy said, you cannot bore people into buying your brand. And that's as true today as it was back then. Because the trouble is that we find that we talk about product features all the time. And every time we have a short-term advantage versus our competitors, it gets copied. And the next thing you know, everybody's the same again. So one way to lift your brand out of that boring morass of sameness is through personality. And personality really does give you an opportunity to differentiate your brand. Sometimes it can be that personality is part of your offering. Perhaps Nando's would be a good example of that. Nando's has got all the spicy chickens and sauces and peri-peri, but it's also got an irreverent personality that is part of the, a large part, in fact, of the, of the brand differentiation. Sometimes, in fact, it's the only thing you have personality. And without being unfair, I would say that applies perhaps to Net Florist. We don't know that much about them in terms of functionality other than the short-term promotions they run, but we know a lot about them in terms of personality because of Harold's relationship hotline. There's a brand that's really been built on personality. And it is something that every brand owner has to consider. Find that personality and build it into your brand communications. It's just so long as you are faithful to the brand, that it is authentic personality, it's relevant personality, it is a credible personality and it is entertaining personality. You put all those together and use those to amplify your product story and I reckon you've got a pretty good solution. <laughs>